call for Nigeria's unity has been re-echoed by various Igbo leaders that graced the 2021 Igbo Day celebration in Lagos. The spokesperson of the Lagos State Chapter of the All Progressives Congress, APC Joe Igbokwe, who represented the Lagos State Governor, said that Igbos have been the integral part of Lagos and have also been part of the developmental drive of the government in the state. On its part, the coordinator, Lagos for Lagos, Judy Adedinro, also acknowledged the roles Igbos have played in the state. For a major ethnic group like Igbo, Hansa, Flani, or Yoruba, to make it, you need to build bridges and not burning bridges. You know, and you need what is called cultural competence, you know, to, to deal with that. You know, so that's what we do. A lot. It's at stake. You know, there's a stake. Do you know if a Igbo investment across Nigeria because they control commerce and industry? Do you know? That is the essence. That's what we're trying to do. To do. To build bridges and not burning bridges. We have decided to subject our aspirations to the generality of Lagosians as against the mood of an individual. And we believe with the step we have taken now, we are putting ourselves forward for people of Lagos to look at us, bring fresh energies, to look at us, bring fresh ideas and compare to the system we have currently. We have always liked good neighborliness. And since we live here, we are thriving here, we must be in good relationship with our people. So and the Yoruba represent good, we all Southerners. And we are the two planks, the two strong planks, the dominant planks in the South. So we must relate well for the good of Nigeria.